Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mel with One S, but you can call me Mel. And today we're gonna get a bit more festive for the month of December. We are gonna be decorating my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. You see me in my little festive attire. And then also I am gonna be showing you some plant growth updates, but I am gonna show that first, just in case you're just here for some plants, see some plant growth, and then I'll do the decorations as the second part of the video. So go ahead and grab some decorations, grab a nice warm drink. I have with me my hot chocolate in my mug that says, naughty, nice, or I tried. <laughs> and then also I have some water in another festive cup of one of my favorite Christmas movies. If you know, you know. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some decorating and some updates. All right, so first let's do some plant growth updates and I'm gonna work my way left to right. Here I have my Ethereum Clarinarivium, which is looking gorgeous. I'm actually so, so surprised on the size of this new leaf. I believe this is the first leaf that it has grown in the cabinet, so it's definitely loving the extra attention. But yeah, I'm excited to see if it grows even more because it still hasn't hardened off. So I'm super excited about that. And same thing goes for my Philodendron Gloriosum. This is the newest leaf here. Uh, that is just hardening off and it is the biggest leaf that I have on this plant which I am so so happy about. It's perfect, gorgeous. Again this plant is loving the cabinet although it is a crawling plant so I'm gonna have to at some point take it out of the cabinet because it is taking up a lot of space so that's something for the future. And then I have my Philodendron subhastatum which has grown quite a bit since I put it in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet I believe it's pushed out three or two leaves so far. This is the newest leaf, still hardening off. But again, loving the cabinets and really enjoying the light. Here is my Philodendron Mame that pushed out such a beautiful leaf. It is perfect. I love the speckled silver on it. And it is already working on another leaf right there. Bring it up a bit. So yeah, it has uh, unfurled, but it's still having to grow. So I wonder how big that one will be. My melanochrysum cuttings, I'm gonna have to give you an up close, or maybe you see there, there's a growth point there. There's a growth point on that one. So all of these have pushed out new growth points, which is super exciting while in the cabinet. And then here is a Syngonium Albo cutting that has also rooted and is pushing out a new leaf with some gorgeous, gorgeous variegation. So I'm happy that it is enjoying the extra humidity and also the extra light. And this is my Melanochrysum. Oh no, sorry, my Splendid. They, they look very similar. So I got this Splendid cutting from a trade and I also air layered it and it pushed out this leaf, um, which I'm not surprised is a bit damaged with the shock and the cutting and all that, but it is pushing out some new growth already, so I'm excited that it's also enjoying the cabinet. And then I have some random cuttings over here of some Syndapsis trubii moonlight, but the reason I have it in here is because there is some I don't know if it's discoloration, some bleaching, or some variegation, but we will see once they root and push out another leaf whether or not it is variegation or maybe it was just some sort of, I don't know, bacterial infection that happened. So I'm going to keep it here. If you watched my last few videos on my Kia Greenhouse cabinet, I do have a playlist on them. But anyways, you may be asking, where's my Monstera Thai? Because it was in the middle. And where's my Philodendron McDowell, which was beside it? They grew out the cabinet really quickly. They just take up a lot of space. Just like how my Philodendron Gloriosum is taking up a lot of space because it is a crawler. So it won't be long until I have to take her out as well. The Anthurium can hang in there because it kind of just grows up and the leaves don't really go too far out like a crawler. And then the subhastatum, obviously once it grows too tall, then again, it is going to have to move. But yeah, so I still have those plants, just not in the cabinet right now. And I'm gonna show you the plants down here. 
Here is my Hoya cutting that I rooted in soil. It is such a slow grower, but it has pushed out new growth, as you see there right in the middle, a while in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet. So I think it does enjoy that extra light and extra humidity. And here is my Cebu Blue, which I think is really enjoying the IKEA greenhouse cabinet. It is crawling up at the corner there and is on the second clip already. And I think uh, in the last video, it was about right there. So it's definitely growing a lot of vines. The leaves are looking gorgeous. Um, sometimes I let it dry out too much, which is why some of the tips are browning. But other than that, I think it's really enjoying the extra light. It's making it more silvery and more blue. This silver splash actually hasn't done much while well in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I don't know if it's just a slow grower or what, but it's not really doing much, so I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> this is the mother plant of my Melanochrysum. So this is where I took the cuttings from that I showed you from the top shelf. And she's already pushing out a new growth point as well, so I think sh she's excited to have that extra humidity and a little bit more light in here. I try not to put it too close to the light because it does uh, bleach, but I think it is enjoying the extra humidity because it tends to be a slow grower. Now this next update, you may have already seen it if you follow me on Instagram, but this is my Syndapsis Jade Satin plant. And look at these leaves. I'm not too sure what happened, but they are way more silvery. <laughs> Obviously Jade is known to have more of that matte dark green and all of a sudden it pushed out these two silver leaves and I guess that's what happens when you put it into the IKEA greenhouse cabinet so that's pretty cool. Let me know if this ever happened to your jade satin. And then I have my Hoya Crimson Princess which is also crawling up the side with the help of those clips. I believe this is all new so up here within the past few months it's definitely grown very long but for now i'm going to leave it in here and because i kind of want it to trail but we'll see it is enjoying the cabinet though and then this is just a propagation container which i have here because i do want it to get a decent amount of light so yeah i'm not going to show you what's in there it's just a bunch of propagations but hopefully i can show you this soon i'm just waiting to see a bit more growth one more plant update. I forgot to show you this cutting of my Raphidophora decursiva and you can see it is pushing a new growth point. It has rooted in the moss here in the cabinet so that's exciting. It is a successful propagation just waiting for that new growth point to push out a new leaf. So those are all the plant updates that I wanted to show you in this video. Leave a comment down below if there's any other plants that you're interested in hearing about that I may have missed because I have moved some plants out of this cabinet. But now let's go ahead and decorate. So this is what it looks like before my Christmas festive touch. And then we will see how it looks like after. All right, the first step is going to be putting some wrapping paper on the back of the cabinet. I bought this wrapping paper from the dollar store. It's just green and red ornaments. I thought it would look pretty cool, you know, decorating a tree versus decorating a cabinet. So let's see if I could do a cool transition. Ta -da! Look at that. So easy to just decorate it right away. You can see the festive vibes coming together. I love it. Okay, so next let's add a few other decor pieces. Next I have this that I will be putting around the border of the shelves. Ta -da! <laughs> I love it, it looks so cute. Let me know what you think. It's probably not everyone's taste, but I'm just having a little bit of fun with it and I love how it's just giving the cabinet a nice, festive Christmassy vibe and then I did the same for the bottom just put it around the plants and lastly I'm going to put some lights so I bought these at the dollar store as well there's 50 light bulbs on this one so I think this is going to be enough but I do have a second one that I'm going to use so let's put these in the cabinet Ta -da! I love how the lights give it such a warm tone and just 
looks so cozy. My plants are in the holiday spirit with me. <laughs> I love it. Just like the little touches, right? Just to kind of change things up for a month or two. And yeah, so I think it looks super cute. And I did buy a bow, so I'm gonna add that to the handles. Here is the bow that I bought and I just hooked it on the top of the handles. So if I need to get into the cabinet, I just lift it up and the cabinet will open. But yeah, I thought it was a cute little touch. It's a present of a cabinet. <laughs> so I thought that looked really cute. Obviously this is not practical at all. So that's, I guess, a disclaimer here that this is just for fun. This is just for Christmas time and Obviously the lights would only go on if I'm like recording or I want to take a picture or something like that. But the grow lights obviously have to stay on. I could turn them on right now, see how it looks. And this is what the cabinet looks like with the lights on. Definitely more bright and vibrant, super cute. And you could still see the lights around the shelf, which is nice. But yeah, I thought this would be a fun project, decorating and, you know, just adding that touch of Christmas to the IKEA greenhouse cabinet and allowing our plants to feel that holiday season as well. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave a comment. Let me know what exciting plant growth is happening in your home. I also wanted to add, if you're still watching, I wanna let you know that I am gonna do a separate video on the pros, the cons, whether or not I would recommend the IKEA greenhouse cabinet, things I would change. So I did not put it in this video. I'm gonna do a completely separate video for that. So keep an eye out. But other than that, thank you so much for everyone that's watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you soon.